We're here at the track this weekend for Tech Talk talking about tires. We're here with Greg Stucker, director of racing for Goodyear. There's a lot of numbers and markings on these things. Let's start with the sticker on this one. What does all this tell you? The, the sticker has a lot of generic uh, information. It has the D number, and that, that D number is what we use to identify the specific combination of compound and construction that we're running at a particular racetrack. We might use the same D number at a few racetracks, but, uh, but it specifies a unique combination uh, you know, for, for those individual racetracks. We also have the tire size, we have our product code for shipping and inventory purposes and so on and so forth. There's a lot of handwritten information on these tires as well. Tell me a little bit about the marking. All right, so once we mount a tire, again, you'll, you'll see our, our 4600, that's that D number I talked about. But when we, when we mount a tire, we'll assign it to a particular team and that's how we'll mark it. So this one happens to be for a right side tire for the 78. We also use a radio frequency identification tag that's buried down here in the sidewall of the tire. We actually have handheld readers, which we pick up that information and we assign it to that particular team. So that, that tells us that this particular tire has a unique, unique identifier and it's been assigned to the 78. Then when the tire specialist from the 78 gets it, then he organizes his, his tires into sets and this is his, his marking here. So this is gonna be a right rear and is set number six. That's what that, what's, what that designates. And if we look at the top of the tire, if you will, it's on its side here, there's a lot of stuff molded in. What are those molded for? Yeah, you know, race tires are, are slick, they're smooth, so they don't have a, they don't have a tread pattern like your, like your street tire does. So we actually mold these indentations into the tread uh, itself, and that's where the teams can actually measure the tread depth. They can see how much, how much uh, wear is being generated all the way across the tire. So these numbers that you see here are their, their original readings. So then once they, they get this tire on the racetrack, then they'll measure them again, and they'll do this with subtraction and figure out how much tire has actually been worn in each of those individual spots. So it's not just as simple as bolting the thing on the race car and going, there's a lot of math involved in here. There's a, there's a lot of things that a lot of people go through to, to make sure the tire gets out there and performs well. All right, Greg, thanks for joining us on Tech Talk. Absolutely. And uh, make sure you stay logged on to NASCAR.com for more of your technology information.